How are we doing, guys? Welcome back to Road Trader. Um, so, last time we went down to see the Navigator's Sanctum, I think it was called. Uh, recruit the uh, yeah, the psychic, and then essentially found that the Navigator was dying, um, so we couldn't do much there, and then came back up here, found the sister, and cleared some more heretics. So, without further ado, let's carry on clearing the ship. I want to say like saving the ship i'm at this point sure we're blowing enough holes in walls but it, it feels a bit destructive for a saving is what i'm trying to get at okay so they all run that way um is there anything over here this feels like one of those rooms where you're a bit overwhelmed by choice well you, you could not overwhelm my choice that's not what i meant to say you could run off down here and completely ignore whatever was over here so, I'm doing what I always do in this type of game and trying to ensure I get as much as I can out of it. Ooh, a helmet. What's that got? Uh, what's it do? 5% to armor, so we'll put it on our tank. And yeah, I'll put that on as well. Dodge is always good on a tank, armor is always good on a tank. Looks like can't get through there. Hang on a sec. <laughs> I tire of can, can I? Let's move. Shoot that guy. I can. Okay, I'm pretty sure he can't. I'm not seeing like a health bar or anything. I'm pretty sure he can't die. Yeah, that, that's normally enough damage to drop like some of the tougher enemies we've seen so far. So he's invulnerable. Okay. Worth checking, worth checking. Always try and break the game first time you play it. And then you'll know what <laughs> what can and cannot be done. Okay. Random explosions. Always a standard thing on a spaceship. <laughs> Not worrying at all. Okay, that's a bit more worrying. Wait, what? Who's this? Huh? Flames ring in your ears, choking smoke. It is Theodora. What the hell? How did you walk through fire? Are oh, you lost, my air? Okay, I don't think this is Theodora. Also, they're missing a H here. I'm assuming that's a typo and it's supposed to just say her name. An apparition, a sorceress apparition, trickery of the war. I agree with the sister. Abelard, uh. Sister, lower your weapon. Threatening the Lord Commander is uh, Lord Captain is outrageous. That's not the Lord Captain. Uh, this is impossible. No, they are definitely missing the H here. Uh, is this supposed to indicate that it's not the Lord Captain? <laughs> um, I doubt you are aware of the limits of what is possible, Atachi. For your worldview is but an iota of what a world tra a rogue trader knows and sees. But I can tell that you, like me, would share that not that you would like me to share that knowledge with you. That power is a, that power of reality, <clears throat> and lead you out of the, these flames, Atachi. I show you a path, rid you of pain, and give you a weapon so you may defeat your enemies. Decide. Yeah. Okay. This is definitely chaos all over. See, it puts a H in back here. I'm pretty sure that's a typo previously. Either that or they've deliberately done it. Just try and hide it. Okay. Um, last been Salivae. Okay, Warp Madness. Right. Lovely. Do not listen to this abomination of Tachi. If, if you... Wait. If you... If there is not but his light in your heart. If you are resolute in fate, then step into the flames. What? Did I read that right? If there is no any heart the Emperor's life, if you're resolute, then step into the... Yes, sister, I'm not that mad. Um, the Emperor protects. That's not how it works. His faith will not be deterred by either darkness or deceitful promises. Nor will the flames burn those. Okay, right. Note to self. Do not trust the sister at any point in the future. She is mad. Idria. <clears throat> To the void with you. We need to follow Lady, Lady Theodora, but we, before we suffocate in this furnace. Blood. 
Uh, the people, Atachi, the survivors from the middle deck. We must help the crew, lead them out, find a way around. I thought you would... What? Why? Okay. Then we'll miss our chance to meet up with... Ed she breaks off, uh, coughing violently. Tachi, what are we waiting for? Okay, so this is the alignment system from this game. So it's kind of similar to how you might do it in D&D, &D, but it's split into three paths. So heretical and benevolent, I believe, are opposites, if I remember correctly. I might be able to look this up in a sec. Uh, Imperialis is basically will and the Emperor. If you are a true believer of the Emperor, you always go this way. If you're good, you go this way. If you are bad, you go, well, evil, chaotic, go here. Uh, I don't believe there is like a chaotic evil, if it were. Because you've got evil, you've got good, you've got lawful. I don't believe there's chaotic. Other, this is kind of both. But we're going to go with a bene benevolent one because I'm kind of not... I, I don't buy the whole Imperial thing as a rogue trader. You, your job is deliberately to go outside of what the Imperium do. I'm sorry, I didn't read that out. I'm not believed by people in harm's way. You look, you look away, the illusion breaks. The unbearable heat instantly makes your skin burn and the voices of the people beyond the shroud of smoke grow stronger. And hopefully, once you and your companions rush back, and, and hopeful, once you and your companions rush back, barking orders and guiding the survivors. In your determination, you completely forgot about Theodora and when you turn your head back, you see nothing but billowing fire. Yeah, that's not Theodora. <laughs> I guess that might have fooled someone who wasn't versed in 40k, but I think they need to maybe put a bit less obvious thing of, this is evil. <laughs> you know, just make it a bit of a surprise. Okay, so we can crash the platform. Is there any other way around? I'm assuming this can't move. Oh, looks like we're taking the shot. I better myself through my service. Okay, there is an attack. Why did it say attack? I don't see a test. I assume when it said that there would be a test, but I don't see a roll. A new challenge okay. for me. So what we got over here? Abelard. <clears throat> too late. We are too late. Or perhaps Elder F and his escort never made it here, which we, which would be even worse. Or they could be fighting on the bridge as we speak, without us. Why am I? Why am I back here? I'm assuming this is a bug. Um, lady, I beg your pardon for these people are asking. The people are asking for all your orders. You came back to save us, so now we will follow you through frickin' thick and friend. To the bridge. If Eldorap is there, then he may he requires immediate assistance. I say it actually. There is one thing that I find most disturbing: Lord Captain's Voxcast. They are still coming in, even though it it would make sense that Lord Lady Theodora was to be on the bridge right now. At the head of the counter assault, I feel uneasy. What if Lord Captain is besieged in our own chambers? With your permission, I suggest we confirm for ourselves and that she is not. We can use the same LOA to Milady Theodora and Mort headed for earlier. So we're risking the entire ship to go check that the Lord Captain is where she said she would be. Follow my lead. Am I understanding that right? Seems a bit. I mean, I get the whole suspicion that the Vox casts are weird, but I feel we should have probably checked this earlier if we fought this. I'm assuming I can't go through this door. No, that looks like a thing. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> I was expecting like a secret over there. Maybe the perception check and it's just not told me. That would be kind of cool if there were like perception checks that you didn't notice. It's one of the things I didn't like about um, Victory awaits. Pathfinder is the perception checks weren't hidden and therefore you could always tell when you missed something. Because you just get like five perception checks in a row that all failed because they're like, ah, there's a trap somewhere. Okay, so we're going in here. This ocular implant was a worthwhile investment. Okay, is this the equivalent of a secret tunnel that we weren't supposed to know about? Okay. I don't know what these are. I'm assuming we use them later. I'm just picking them up. I'm assuming. Okay. 
assuming that looting everything is good. Since there doesn't seem to be... Like, I'm not seeing a weight class or anything, so I assume I can just carry everything. Um... Ooh, what's that? Plus free logic. Okay. Put those on. Kind of looks a bit weird. But, whatever. And then more cargo things I assume we'll do later. Right, well. I'll lay claim to the stars. Let's go check on the captain. Well, Lord Captain's quarters. I mean, I assume it's, she's there, but the fact it's sending us there, I can't think of a reason it would send us there otherwise. It's a bit dark. Here? Oh, this looks like the bed chambers. And then I'm assuming this is another side room. Lovely fountain slash bath, I guess. Interesting. <laughs> I mean, at least it's luxurious. Anyway, let's go. Is that Melter Guy? Ha! Huh. Well, I was right. She, she was here. Also, why is that? Hang on. Okay, maybe it looks like she got shot from the front. I was thinking she got shot through the back, but I couldn't see a crack in the window. It's that blood in front of her, but I guess that's supposed to be spilling out of her. Okay. Well. Huh. I mean, it's a good helmet. <laughs> Little concern that was over. Where's his melter? I want his melter. Someone else could do this. Where is it here? Where do I see? Ah, here. So yeah, this is what I was talking about with things. So they've gone for a triangle system rather than like four points like they normally do. So I believe we do get bonuses. See if I can find any. Yeah. So temporary wounds at the start of combat, and then nothing major there. Interesting. Not all of them appear to have bonuses, because that one there definitely says it does. Weird. Anyway, uh, what does this require? Imperial, so that would be her. Clearly has a visor, but we're going to ignore that. Also, where's her power armor? She should be in her power armor. She's a sister. Although, I guess we can have uh, Right, let's have a look, see what's going on here. Beardor's body is sprawled on is sprawled on a large blood a blood drenched deck. The arch militant's corpse, still clutching a weapon, is lying on the floor by one of the bulkheads. Emperor, accept thine faithful souls. No. I... Lord Captain, I didn't hear. I didn't hear a thing. Not a whisper, not a breath. It was... It was so loud. Why didn't I foresee this? Lord Captain, who would even dare unless that brat... Kungun... Um... No, I don't think it was, uh, Kunra. Because... He was boasting about humiliation. He wasn't just going to shoot her. Plus, I think he still would have needed her to open the vault. <clears throat> it could have happened to him, not to mention that Mort was here, and it would have protected Lady Theodora to last. How could Mort have failed her so terribly? The Archmilitant was born on a death world. He had lightning fast reflexes. I can look at things in my own way. I, if I find something, something that maybe. Bear, bear, bear the imprint of the killer. Just give it to me. And try. I'll try and see what secrets it holds. Okay, let's have a look at her body. Getting closer. The cause of death is apparent. What ended the rotator's life was a single... She died to an auto pistol. It's like humiliation in the 40k universe. That's like trash weaponry. <clears throat> An extraordinarily accurate one at that. 
so an assassin. Okay. Theodore's face bears an expression of surprise, the last emotion she ever experienced in life. Something on the floor captured eye, a heap of dried, uh, a heat of blood spattered parchments and scrolls that must have fallen off the desk. As you lean uh, down for a close look, you notice something else, small shards of glass scattered across the floor. So, from the window? Would you, would, would you try touching Theodora? You may be able to see her, the killer through her eyes. <laughs> it doesn't work like that. I can try to read the memories of an object, but dead bodies are a different story. Something like that would require her soul. And after what we saw on the officer's, uh, on the officer's deck, I won't risk searching the warp for it. Yeah, that, don't, don't go looking in the warp. It's always a bad idea. So, the Arch Militant. Another auto... What armor was he wearing that an or... Oh, wow. Okay, so we're dealing with either high stealth something, or... Like a... I don't even know what could get... Maybe a... Vindicare? Vindicare might be able to get through. Just sit here and pick him off. But his rounds are much more deadly than auto pistol. Um, spraying the floor... Uh, so the... The auto pistol shot went straight for the mort's forehead, spraying the floor and the furniture around... Uh, spraying the floor and the furniture around with blood, brain matter and shards of his skull. Safety of Arch Militant's weapon is off. The killer must have been a split second quicker than he was. Okay, so he at least knew they were there, I guess. Um, inspect shots. So to say what exactly was broken, the object fell on the floor, and that is as much as you can discern. Upon closing, the shots appear iridescent rather than completely transparent, as if they were submerged in Promethean. Why would you... Okay. It's an idea. What do these shards tell you? Scoops a few up. Uh, I see streaks of colour. Luminescent blue and... Luminescent blue lights. Faces drawing close. Lea, Theodora and Conrad. And what is this? Something dark and... Okay, so whatever it was on the floor, we don't want to touch it, so we just touched it. Good job. Hated witchcraft. Um, inspect papers. So, port accounts, dispatches, you go to school and stumble across upon a document that's starkly different from the rest. It's a handwritten letter signed with the initials XC and a seal. And a seal with a symbol that is vaguely familiar to you. Okay, so. Ah, uh, we don't quite have a high enough law, but clearly it was something. We had best be on our way. Yes, the Christian battle calls me once more. No, wait, we might, we must see if we can still find something. Idria, you can't bring her back. Let her go. That, that's not what she's after. You give up so easily, old man. As I expected as much from the sister, but it's not like she has a heart. But you. Oh no, I'll get to the bottom of this. I'll find the one responsible for murdering the Lord Captain, and when I do, that skull will regret the day they were born. Um, okay. I'm not sure I like her path, uh, train of thought. It's about I'm more time. scared by whatever the hell that black thing was. Iridescent flames? Zinch? Possibly? Be my, uh, why is her rosary over. Oh god. Must have oh, really been caught off guard if that little thing wasn't even on her. What are these two? So bonuses to uh, fellowship and commerce. Um, interesting. Fellowship bonus for every each enemy in a two cell radius. So, do you try and put it on your tank, run them in, and then do like an inspiration None shell? Shall stand in my way. But it's certainly an interesting way of doing it. Ooh, we leveled up. They say um, a bit of humility never hurt anyone. I help others better themselves by wholeheartedly humiliating Why is it showing me that? That's not your step. thing. Any bug? Yeah. Okay, bug. Because it should have shown me this. Ooh, we level up twice? 
Interesting. I feel I could have paced that a bit better. You should have probably had this before the previous fight. Anyway, um, what are we going to level? Uh... Okay, I know at some point we get a tech priest, so I don't want to invest too much into these because that's what my tech priest is going to do. She's good enough at them for the moment. I'm more concerned we're going to run into Xenos checks and not know what they are. So I'm going to have her kind of tech into probably Xenos and kind of have the others at a decent level. Tech priest can handle uh, logic and tech use. I guess I think the psych is also int based so she can handle maybe warp and this stuff. Is the plan anyway. I haven't obviously seen the game so I don't know what exactly we'll need. I'm thinking too much on it anyway. What have we got here? Pattern recognition. Every enemy inflicts more clue. So you just have bouncing clue. That'd be kind of cool. Um, when the adept triggers a sack of clue on enemies, the adept gains one damage for every triggered clue stack until the end of combat. That's kind of cool. So you just keep picking off enemies. Even as a sniper, you could keep picking off enemies and just gain an infinite damage buff. Exposed weakness also decreases. Enemies tough. We don't have exposed weakness yet because we went sniper out. Um, the depth attacks an enemy. Ooh, that's like a first shot thing. That's good for a sniper, I think. Okay. So that's kind of cool. So this is kind of meh. This is cool. This is only good when you have exposed weakness. Ah. Uh, it's free exposed weakness. We may end up trying to pick that up later. But this and this require exposed weakness. This is just generally good. But we'll go with this. And apparently we're doing this as well. Um, I think you try and get everyone to a decent... Uh, it, sorry, not everyone. You try and get to a decent level with all your relevant skills. So we're in int-based agi stuff. So probably all of these. Um, in which case, probably picking up Law Imperium wouldn't hurt. I'm tempted to half just max out Xenos and just pack all those checks, but I don't think we need that yet. I'm kind of thinking too far ahead for myself. Right, okay. And then Abelard. We have Tempt, whenever fighter, enemy attacks a fighter, deal extra damage. It's not amazing. Enrage, just basically go berserk when you're below 50%. That's kind of cool, but you'd need to be higher level to make most use of it. Because at the moment, a lot of damage is going and like chunking people because we don't have that much health. I'm assuming we gain more health as we level. I haven't looked. Um, okay. Skin gains one damage reflection. I mean, he is kind of our tank at the moment. I know we get a space wolf later on, so he may be better at that. But until then, I'm tempted to go with this. Yeah, we'll just make sure our front line doesn't die because he's one shotting everything he gets into combat with, so it's not a big deal. And then this guy, I'm happy to just. I mean, he's also our medic. I mean, he's not actually our medic, he just for some reason it wouldn't let me use the medipacks when I tried earlier. I'm curious what the reason is for that. What's this, by the way? Oh, okay, yeah. I was wondering where these came in. So, depending on how well you're doing in combat, you get heroic acts and desperate ones. Desperate ones typically are just... Um, yeah, so you see at the bottom there, it has negatives. Whereas on this one, it doesn't. And this one just... Basically, heroic acts are when you're doing really well and you just... You burn, essentially, a resource that's... I think it's called momentum to gain extra abilities. So on this one, just go nuts on a fighter. And then with your push, you can use this when your momentum is low to kind of try and survive in combat. This is desperate. This is overkill, essentially. No, going through. More adept. Weeps. So you've got exposed weakness, Medicare. I guess having instant exposure on you would be good, just to put it out there. And then... Yeah, you you are... 
int based kind of with where your skills go, but you're going to be mainly our warp person. I'm assuming the game does it like it does in Pathfinder, where as long as you have them in your party, you can use their skill level instead of yours. That would make most sense for the way they're doing it. So, sister, this is one we haven't looked at. Rapidly reload. Reload more often. Might be actually kind of cool for her because uh, her bolt gun has quite a long reload, if I remember. After the marksman deals damage to free enemies, the bonus damage on when hitting multiple people. Okay. Um, every adjacent ally. She's probably going to be out front on her own, so this is not good at the moment. Maybe later on when we have more people. Uh, unpredictable. Bonus crit chance. This bonus is double against enemies from which the Markman has cover. Okay. Kind of cool. But again, she's mostly running around and stuff, so I can't rely on her being cover. Each time the Markman deal damage, the crit hit damage. So this and this stack up quite well. Cover efficiency is... Uh, I mean, we're kind of going to be using cover, but it's not required, essentially. And then there's a bunch of them. It's going to deal. I mean, that sounds kind of cool for her, because she's going to be running forward a lot, and just throwing grenades for free sounds uh, ridiculous. But I think we'll pick up... I think we'll pick up Rapid Reload to start. And then you are... You are Demo Girl at the moment, I believe. Oh, apparently there's a maximum you can reach this to, so apparently we've hit that. Okay, in which case, probably going into Athletic, because you are, you and Abelard are kind of front runners. What's this? Gains the ability to make a number of free attacks. Okay. That's cool. Just bonus things for level. I, I assume that was just the base skill, that wasn't leveling up. It had a number next to it, though, so I don't know. But it is the number of her rapid-fire shots. Okay. So, have we done everything we can in here? I won't tolerate weakness. Okay, what is that? The whispers are getting louder. It's a wounded combat. So the fact they had to send it in wounded makes me worry about the damn thing. Okay, you get over there. You over here, I guess. I'm scared of that thing. I kind of want you away because you're not that tough. And then you kind of here. So she, if she goes first, gets to bolt her through the whole lot. He gets to get in and try and shut that down because I'm assuming that is either a melter or a flamer on its arm. You go zap zap and I get to sit back and snipe. Alright. Okay, they all decided to surround Abelard. That's kind of okay, because his AoE should be good enough. Okay, what is this and what does it do? Yeah, it was a melter. I knew it was a melter. Ow. In fact, we didn't kill him, but... Definitely it was a bit of a painful awakening. He's wounded, as you can see up here, but I don't believe... Yeah, I don't believe it has any actual negative effects right now. So we can start cutting our way through this slot. Reduce the dust. Can't charge him. I'm, struggling. I'm actually tempted to charge away. And the reason is, just get distance between me and that. Because if he takes another hit, he goes down. <laughs> Coward charge, run away! They probably need to change it so Charge has to have a target, by the way. That, that's a bit absurd. Okay. Us. Unfortunately, we picked up the thing that means we gain bonus damage to things on 100%, which is not that at the moment. And that looks good. That barely does anything, and that hits my own guy, so it's this shot. Not a problem for me. Solid. <laughs> okay. You are probably dappering the hell out of that thing. This thing, this guy is irrelevant. 
this thing is the entire fight now. So we'll get as close the as we can. The Emperor will be undone. These are the desperate modes. This is the momentum bar, that, by the way, I believe. Yeah, it tells you when you can use the things. Uh, what's our chance of hitting? 75 regular or rapid fire 42. I think that means rapid fire is guaranteed to do more damage. So let's go with that. Doubt is for the weak. Yeah, he's quite well armored, which is a problem. As the Emperor commands, I act. Rejoice in battle! But we can just essentially just keep loading into him. Not a huge amount of damage, but he should fire at her next, and that'll leave these guys safe-ish. Um, what's the range on that? I kind of want to leave. <laughs> but of course. Just to avoid any spray fire down this way. On it. I suppose we just do again. Oh, decreases the armor and stuff. That probably needed to come in first, but there was no way of doing it, so. Whatever. If we go there. I think it's still in range. Call me. What? Yeah. Was that you? Again, the entire fight is over there now. It's irrelevant what this guy is doing. Okay, the belly did any damage. That's good. I guess that's the helmet doing its job. Thankfully, that hit Abelard, but didn't do a huge amount of damage. He can kill him. And then... Yeah, field medicine at its finest. Yeah, I was just removing the wound before it became an issue. I, I think you could just heal it after the fight anyway, but what's the point of risking it? Uh, I am in sniper stance, so I just get to ping into him. Might as well put some more clue on him at, me, at least. What's my heroic action, by the way? Mantling attack. Always hits free attack gain. Ooh, that's quite good. And what's the D? So the only cover. Yeah, there's the D. That's what I mean by disadvantage. So you can use this, but you're screwing yourself for the rest of combat. So if you're doing that, you need to make sure you end the combat with the shot. Alright, and then just unload into him. <laughs> can we get his melter? Because that hurt. Okay. Well, that was a thing. What's this? Plus five toughness is that it is less than 75. So, Victory was, he, was the guy an orc? <laughs> Believing he's tougher than he is? Right, anyway, I didn't finish searching this. Probably finish searching this off and then call it for this episode. It's, oof, we've had some revelations and... Time. Whatever the hell. I don't know why they made him injured. I mean, I get that combat, combat surfaces are supposed to be tough, but not that tough, comparatively. Like, a couple of bolt shells still should have ripped into shreds easily. I guess they just wanted to make him scary and point out that, yeah, if you see these later, don't go near them. Anyway. Um, so, do we have anyone who's less than 35 int? She is. She is. He is. So everyone can have it. So who do we want toughness on? He has ways of gaining um, deflection, defense, that sort of stuff. She's quite often not. So I'm going to put this on her because essentially he's going to take all the melee hit but he, she's going to take all the ranged ones is the way I imagine combat's going so go with that, what's this? Uh, oh, is this the letter we had earlier? Steam Theodora, change the has demanded your immediate assistance in our mutual cause uh, you are to park the uh, one of my agents, so this is an inquisitor? or at least a uh, 
inquisitorial agent. Interrogator operates there at the present time until you're in contact with him and offer any assistance required of you. After which you will... Yeah, I think only... Given that this is giving an order to a rogue trader, only the Inquisition can really do that. So I'm pretty sure this is an Inquisitor. Uh... Okay, so there is some agent we were supposed to meet in the Rydax system, which I think was where we were headed. But, oh well, can't really do anything about that. Any of this actually any good? A lot of these weapons are going to be primitive or scrappy, so I don't think that should be any use. Why do you have an auto pistol? Why do you have an auto pistol as your only equip? Kind of suspicious considering the Lord uh, Commander died to a auto pistol. Um, here, have a sword. <laughs> that, that, that's what I'll give you. Okay, this is just to make sure everyone has melee and stuff. Is this two handed? No. So why do you not have. I'm gonna, which one of these does more damage? Last pistol. Okay. Let's give him that. I don't think there's an advantage for having things one handed. I'd be very surprised if there was. Like, a free hand shouldn't really do anything in this sort of game. That's weird. It wasn't letting me move for a second. Anyway, uh, I'm assuming this goes through to the next area, so I'll call this episode here. And I'll see you guys next time.